Hey guys, what's going on? This is Mikey. This is Dan. Now, Dan, I think you will agree with me that soy sauce is a must have ingredient in basically every single Asian person's kitchen. Faux show. Whether it is being cooked into our foods or used as a dipping sauce, soy sauce is used in so many of our dishes. But many of you might not know that there are actually many kinds of soy sauce. Yeah, each country has their own ways of making soy sauces. And we chose 10 that are probably the most well known. Japan actually has the widest variety of soy sauces. The most common soy sauce in Japan is the dark soy sauce, which is rich and less salty. Yeah, it's almost like smoky. It is all purpose and used for cooking, marinating, and dipping. Now their light soy sauce is sweeter and saltier. Because the flavoring is more intense, it is good for making sauces and cooking. Now, if you are gluten intolerant, there is a Japanese soy sauce called the tamari. It is made with little to no wheat. It has a very strong flavor and is good as a dipping sauce as well. But if strong flavor soy sauce is not your thing, Japan also has a soy sauce called the shiro. This soy sauce is made with more wheat than usual, the opposite of tamari. The flavor of shiro is also the opposite of tamari. It has a light flavor. Shiro is good for dipping with white fish, or my favorite, shiro ramen. Ha <laughs> ha! What, what, what is that? Ramen that? with shiro, yeah. Really? Every time. That's yeah. really good? Yeah, trust me. Now, this is because the light flavor of the soy sauce will not overpower the natural flavors of basically anything else, right? Yeah. Now, moving on to Chinese soy sauces. The Chinese dark soy sauce has a rich flavor, is less salty, and may have some added sweeteners. Chinese dark soy sauce is mainly used as a sauce for cooking. The Chinese light soy sauce is thinner in consistency than the dark soy sauce. But like the dark soy sauce, it is often used as a sauce or also in cooking. Now, most Chinese dishes that call for soy sauce uses this soy sauce unless otherwise specified. A speciality of Shuzhou, a province in China, is shrimp soy sauce. Now, this is made by simmering soy sauce in shrimp, sugar, baijiu, which is a type of distilled liquor, and different spices. Other soy sauces, like the Indonesian Kit Kat Manis soy sauce, is sweet. This soy sauce has added flavoring of palm sugar, starch anise, or baijiu, and blue ginger. This Indonesian soy sauce is used in a large amount of their dishes. Now, these last two soy sauces are chemically processed, or at least partly chemically processed. They are low sodium soy sauces. This is good for people who can't consume too much salt. The downer is that less salt equals more chemicals. Yeah, I would just recommend less real soy sauce. Now the last soy sauce we're gonna introduce to you, we're also gonna suggest that you avoid. Yeah, chemical soy sauces were originally created to have a longer shelf life. They can also be made in three days, whereas traditional soy sauce takes months. This soy sauce is made by hydrolyzing soy protein and then combined with other flavors. Hydrolyzing is breaking down chemical compounds through chemical reactions with water. The taste of this soy sauce is going to be very different from traditional soy sauces made by fermenting soybeans. Yeah, you should check the label before buying your soy sauces. Also, those little packets of soy sauce that you typically get at like a Chinese takeout, yeah guys, they're chemically made. Yeah, I would suggest if you guys want a really good quality soy sauce, um, I suggest go to the Japanese market because they have expensive but really great tasting soy sauces. I think like before we made this video, I had no idea about soy sauces and I just buy whatever. Right. And I used to cook a lot with dark soy sauce. Yeah. And then I'm like, yo, it changed the flavor of my food. Right, definitely. So I didn't know about all this stuff. I didn't know like a lot of the soy sauces were like chemically enhanced and oh, yeah. mutation, whatever. Yeah. So now I'm actually gonna go for like expensive soy yeah. sauces. I mean, honestly, it's unfortunate, but a lot of things that come out of China these days, it's been chemically enhanced or changed because of profit um, or the need for more profit. That's why if you go to a Japanese grocer, everything's natural and not processed and they're really good for you. Actually. Now, what what type of dish do you uh, use soy sauce most in? Oh man. Like, no, like you personally, that oh. you love. Did well, me personally, I love soy sauce based Japanese soups mm -hmm. like sobaya. Guys, let us know if you like this video about soy sauce and let us know what your favorite kind is. All right, guys, don't forget to uh, like this video. Don't forget to share it and all that good stuff. Subscribe to our channel, please. All right, see ya.